Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And we're going to be reviewing, uh, what's it called? This is called the um, Tesla UMC Wall Connector and Destination Charger to J1772 Adapter. Next on Now You Know. That's what they call it? Uh, that's because it's a Tesla adapter and you're driving a Leaf. But I drive an electric car, come on. You see, what she needs, son, is this. Uh, what is it? This is a Tesla UMC wall connector adapter to 1772. A what? Yeah, I know, it doesn't roll off the tongue, does it? So what is this? All right, well, this is uh, a really cool adapter that goes from this, which is the Tesla. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna plug this in. So this is from our Tesla wall charger. Yeah. So this goes in here. Like okay. This. Okay. Yeah. Then this is a J1772, which is a standard level two charger that all Nissan Leafs and Chevy Bolts and stuff like that take. So this should work now. Hey, it's charging. Sweet. Yeah. Well, pretty that cool, was, huh? That was pretty easy. Yeah. It's a very valuable adapter. Awesome. All right, well, I'm gonna go do something else. See ya. Charging. So, in the world of electric vehicles, there's generally just about two different kinds of charging schemes. There's the J1772, and there's the Tesla high-powered wall charger, or Tesla supercharger. Okay. Now, for most low-level charging, this is non-supercharging, you're gonna see one of these two. Gotcha. The only problem is, this only works one way. What do you mean? So, the J1772, can charge Tesla because Tesla provides oh. you yeah this adapter with this adapter which goes from a J1772 to a Tesla adapter you can plug directly into oh, any so, Tesla with this. So it looks just like this. Right. The ends are exactly the same. But the only problem is that for a really long time mm -hmm. there was no way to go from this back to this. Right. And that is where this comes in. So this means that I can now go from a Tesla high powered wall charger not a supercharger by the way Plug this straight into here, and boom, I've got a J1772 adapter. Now, I see why it's important here at our house, mm -hmm. where we've got a high powered wall charger and you've got a Nissan Leaf, yep. so you can charge here with your Leaf. Yeah. But outside of that, why is this an important adapter? Well, if you own a Nissan Leaf or uh, an e-Golf or any car that has a limited range, if you want to charge your car, you go on PlugShare and you look and you look and you say, oh, this one's relatively cl close. And then you look and you say, oh, it's a it's a Tesla wall adapter. I can't charge. Okay. Um, which means you have to go somewhere else. With this, it means you can now pull in, slap this on the end, and start charging. So it, it opens up a, a bunch more chargers for you. But let's be clear. If you're watching this and you're not clear about the difference between a supercharger and a high power wall charger. Supercharger, this will not work with. Right, because there's just too much current and your leaf or volt or bolt just cannot take it. Right, so do not use it for a supercharger. Right. But for a high powered wall charger, which is only goes up to 72 amps, right. you can use this. Right. So I know that's a weird distinction if you're not clear with those terminologies. Now talk to me about destination chargers. So destination chargers are an idea that Tesla came up with. They knew that basically the superchargers would only get you so far. Um, and then every once in a while you would need to charge at like a hotel or somewhere else. And so they came up with um, supplying a high powered wall charger to a hotel for free. And that hotel could then attract Tesla uh, drivers because, well, you could come in and stop and stay for the night and then leave with a full charge. So a high power wall charger is the same thing as a destination charger. And the nice thing about this, I will be honest, is its size. It's so nice and small. Keep that right in the back with your, uh, you know, with your mobile connector, and then that way you can charge up pretty quickly, um, you know, when you're out on the road. Now, the last time we heard about this product was when it was in kind of development, and it yeah. didn't look as good as this because it wasn't. It was kind of. Um, it was thrown together. Yeah, it was like a prototype. 
But this is this like is... a production model that yes. we just got, and we don't know the price yet. We're going to be contacting the um, the manufacturers because they said that now that they've gone to production, the price has gotten cheaper right. for them to make, which means cheaper to sell. So we're going to find out, and if we have that information, we're going to put it right here mm -hmm. um, as to what they think the new ballpark range of the price is, because that's going to matter. If it's too expensive, it's not worth doing. It's true. Now, another use you were mentioning to me the other day was if you are a Model 3 reservation holder, which I am, and you know that it's going to be few months to a year or two before you get your Model 3, but maybe you currently have a Leaf, or, which I do, or a Bolt or a Volt or something like that. Right, and I want to why, install... Yeah, why would this be important? So, one thing that I could do um, if I really wanted to get some high-powered juice at home would be I could buy a uh, J1772 charger, um, but usually those only will go up to about 30 amps, which yeah. is not amazing. And they're kind of expensive. For a lot of them. Yeah, they, they are honestly pretty expensive especially for what you're getting. Now, what I could do now when, when now with this is I could buy a Tesla wall connector. Since I know that I'm gonna be driving a Model 3 in the future anyway, I could put it up to, you know, I could have the circuit ready to go up to a very high amperage mm -hmm. um, and then just use this until my Model 3 shows up. Smart. So that and way- then, And then sell this with the, with the leaf when you sell your leaf or something. Right, because this is, I mean, this, honestly, whatever you pay for it, the next owner would love to pay you That's back That's a good for. point. Um, and you won't need this again because you'll have a Model 3, which again uses this plug. So let's just talk again about etiquette. So if you go to a destination charger, like at a hotel or a restaurant, normally you kind of ask like, oh, we're coming with the Tesla, where can we charge? And they go, oh, it's around back, you can use it. You should probably still ask and say, I'm coming with the Nissan Leaf. I see that you've got a destination charger. I have an adapter. Is it okay if I use it? And I'm betting that most of the places would be like, great. Yeah, because you are gonna come and, and since you're charging, you're probably gonna have to stay there for a while, which means that you're gonna have to spend some money, which is fine right. for but, them. But you probably should just still ask um, and, and don't just plug in, you know? Yeah, it depends on the situation, obviously. I mean, we've had places where the staff didn't even really know that they had a destination charger and it was like, yeah, whatever you wanna do. And right. so it's really up to the place you go to. Right, so this basically just opens you up to charging at a whole bunch of new uh, locations and destinations, and I'm I'm really happy. I can't wait to throw this in the back and charge up somewhere. Yeah, because I mean, so right now, if you look at a map, um, we're showing you right now the destination chargers just in this country. They're yep. the gray dots. It's a um, pretty cohesive map. It's a big map. So now you are opening your Leaf or your Bolt or whatever other non-Tesla car up right. to the destination charger network. And I'm adding all of the, you know, in, still including all of the regular uh, J1772 right. uh, chargers. So that means that now I have an even expanded map, a denser map of charging locations. So I'm close to Tesla in terms of what, where I can charge. The yeah. only thing I can't charge at is a supercharger. Now, uh, when you go to a friend's house who might have a Tesla and a Tesla wall charger, this would also help you. Yes, so that that is another thing. Or if, conversely, if uh, you are a Tesla owner and you want to share your power, you got the wall connector and you want to share your power to some of your friends who have a Bolt or a Volt or a Nissan Leaf or an e-Golf or any of the other electric cars that use this as standard plug, you can have this lying around so you can plug them into your wall charger without having to go out and buy another uh, J1772 plug. Now I do want to mention in the latest referral code program from Tesla, this is the new prize that you'll get for referring just one or two Tesla uh, Teslas. It's a matte black signed by Elon. Well, it's not his real signature, but it's a it's an etching of his signature. Um, Tesla high power wall charger. Mm -hmm. That's a five hundred dollar item that you get for the referral program. So a lot of people are going to be getting these. And again, this would come in handy for those people because maybe they want to do just what we talked about, let their friends charge there, or they've got another EV in the family, so that it's going to be a really great solution. All right, well, thanks so much for watching this episode on the Tesla UMC wall connector to J1772 adapter. I think it needs a shorter name. How All about, right. how about, well, it's, it's, it's J to T, so the JIT. But wait, no, it's a T to J. Oh, it's the TJ. Yeah. It's the TJ. I'm still going to call it the phaser gun because it looks like Nobody move or they get vaporized. <laughs> oh no, you have to take this off first. Oh, yeah. Then uh, you disappear. should really be careful with that. What I are mean, you talking about? Well, it could be loaded. I mean, <laughs> oh, uh, crap. All right, well, thanks for watching. Bye now. Bye bye. But I'm going to have to sweep this up. Oh no. Oh, jeez. <laughs>
Hey, you know what we could do? Yes, I do. Yeah, you're thinking the same way I am. Yes. All right, that goes in there. I love needlessly complicated things. Look at that. So this is Tesla wall adapter to J1772 adapter to Tesla, Tesla adapter. Tesla wall adapter. All right. All right, let's see if it works. All right. It, Green. It does work. Cool. Nice. Needlessly complicated. Yeah. Love it.